Hi, in this lesson, you'll learn about functions. So what is a function? Well, a function is a block of reusable code that it's used to perform, perform a single task. Functions are great. They help you organize your program by breaking problems down into smaller parts, avoid repeated code, and make a program more readable. You've actually been using functions since your very first C++ program that you wrote. Let's use the main function to look at the parts of a function. The term function header is used to describe the first line of the function. There's a lot of information here, so let's take a closer look. The function name is an important part of the function header. In this case, the function name is main. Functions can take on nearly any name, but in general, they should be descriptive for what they do. Notice as well that the function name is all lowercase and it follows the same rules as variable naming, so no function names can begin with a number. You can also see a return type is noted before the function name. In this example, the function return is an integer. What that means is at the end of the function, you will see a return statement. The return, the type of return value needs to match the type specified in the function header. If the function doesn't have any return value, you would use the keyword void for the return type. We will see an example of that in a second. One other thing to note is that the function may take an input value. If so, that input value will be found inside the parentheses at the top. You will take a closer look at that in an upcoming lesson. Let's look at an example of a custom function called roll dice. This function is designed to simulate rolling a pair of dice and printing out the results. While the code inside the roll dice function should be straightforward, there are several parts of the program that are important to understand. When taking a closer look at the function, you'll notice that the return type is set to void, and as a result, the function ends with no return statement. Inside the main function, the function is called twice. You call the function by using the function name and a set of parentheses. In this case, there's nothing inside the parentheses because the function doesn't take an input. Now, it's important to note that a function needs to be defined before it can be called. So what does that mean? Notice here that we define the function on line 2. To say that a function is defined it means that we create the function and in this case have all the code needed to execute the function. After the function is defined, the function can then be called. This is because C++ reads the code from top to bottom and needs to know the function exists before it's used. Also, notice how the function is called twice. Once a function is defined, it can be called as many times as you want without having to redefine it. When a function is called from the main function or any other place, the program code stops execution there and jumps to the function to execute. Once complete, the code then returns back to where it was when it was called and continues. Let's take a look at an example. In the main function, you'll see a print statement, a function call, a print statement, another function call, and a final print statement. Watch the order as this program executes. In this example, you'll notice that the code starts executing on line 12, but once it hits line 13, it jumps up to the function and continues from line 5. After completing the function on line 8, the, the code returns back to the main function and proceeds with line 14. The same thing happens when it hits the next function as well. So with that, let's take a look at this in the editor. Okay, so let's look at our first example in this lesson. So this is called work schedule, and what it is is it allows us to um, essentially call these functions and put different blocks of time on our schedule. So let's just say I'm going to create a block that is from 9 to 10. And so I'm going to say at 9 to 10, and I want to put that on a line. Um, so again, if I run that, I see my 9 to 10. And now at, from 9 to 10, I am going to have work time. So I can call this function print work time. Okay, now notice it's a void function, so there's no return type. And all it does is print out information. So I call it by using the name in open and close parentheses and a semicolon. 
And so when I do that, I get my work time. Okay, and then I'm going to repeat this here. I'm going to put a couple more time blocks in here. We'll say from 10 to 12 is work time. And so I call that by, um, actually, let's see, we'll call that a meeting time. So I'll say print meeting and I call that function. And then I'm going to say from Let's say from 12 to 1 is break time for my lunch. And so that's going to say print break. Now the great thing about functions is that I can actually repeat them. So let's just say I'm going to have work time in the afternoon. So I can then call that same function again. And so I'm going to say now from 1 to 5 is work time. And so I don't have to define it again. It actually will print that same thing out each time. Okay, so as it runs, we can see that function is called and used many times over. So 9 to 10, work time, meeting time, break time, and then work time. And again, if I actually printed this several times, it prints and runs several times without me having to redefine it each time. So go ahead and explore on your own.